A video from the cycle is presented to your attention. A few useful thoughts for everyone, may the Lord be in your life. A short excerpt. The fruits of goodness. What you sow, you will grow and reap. Be kind and everything will get better. I hope you enjoy it. You can trust that. This is first-hand information. In other words, you can ask God if I can talk to you. If you are ready to take the first step, this is half the way, go ahead, you will melt the ice. Be safe with God. Epigraph. From now on, and where there is no one, try to be human. I hope that the following words will sow their good seeds in your hearts and minds, which will germinate and give their productive fruits in all areas of your life. Please forgive, please forget, please believe, and he will bring you joy and peace. Do the right thing in your life for the good, but if it doesn't sound too proud. First, your destiny. Dear friends, thank you for continuing to stay on this channel, I am very grateful at this on your part. You really inspire everything that we have done for each of you. Only God gives us a reason to live the moments of our life, interacting with other people, flora and fauna. In a meaningless life I left, the presence of light becomes day, the absence of light is born at night. Fulfill your living joy, harmony, beauty, love and light. Find your destiny and you will find meaning, as well as goals and objectives from the point of view of the higher mind, energy permeating our entire Milky Way galaxy. Secondly, Christ is love. Where there is Christ there is love and the Holy Spirit. Let him be embodied in your lifeline. Accept him, for the burden of Christ is light. He extends his helping hand to you through people, acquaintances and strangers, children and your parents, through spiritualized nature. Confess the Holy Trinity. Christus has been acting as a Logos all this time, it's not just a recognition over the world. God the Father gave him the authority and the right as his son. He was created to be a leader. Treat everything easily and without coercion. Do not judge and do not be judged. Only the Lord knows when your moment will come, your moment when you will be ready to fulfill your destiny. If you are not ready to believe, be patient, the Lord will come to help only when you walk next to him. God will help you point the direction if you go astray. Third, be like children. You can pray in your own words, you can close the door and pray quietly or read the holy scriptures. Whoever you are, whatever you do, if a spark of faith the size of a mustard seed sprouts, then you can tell the grief to go, and it will go. Everything is possible to the believer. Don't mourn yesterday, be attuned to the future. Cool off from running around, whirling, useless life, instead fill your life with meaning and joy. Don't hesitate, enjoy what I do as children. After all, you are all participating in a huge event that is determined by God's plans, a celebration of life, faith, and love. All troubles are sent as lessons in the difference between light and darkness. Darkness is just a space without light. It's a physical term. Only light and love matter. Remember, you're just as much an angel as you are. We all came from there to this life. Fourth, go and sin no more. We all worry, reflect, argue, make mistakes. All this is not so important. Not circumstances, not actions, but our attitude towards them. Can we repent, admit sin on our soul, accept and bear our cross, as Christ commanded us? The one who does nothing is not mistaken. If you are a sinner living in this world where there is no justice and you behave like everyone else, then this is no reason not to make this world the best of the worlds, save yourself and thousands will be saved around you. The main thing is not objective reality, but your subjective view of the situation. This is much more important. Fifth, brothers and sisters. Let us greet each other, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, whatever we do and whoever we are. We are all equal before God. This is how the equivalent law works. From each according to their abilities, to each according to their needs. Christ was sitting in the temple at the treasury and watching the donators, and, turning to the disciples, he said that you see this woman, she put in only two mites, but she put in the most, 
because everyone put in from their wealth, she also donated all her food, gave the last all that she had. Therefore, live richly, but be generous, live poor, and know that the power is in the truth. Whoever confesses me is my mother and father, and brothers and sisters. Sixth, the one who is kind. To be kind is unprecedented. Everyone can be kind and do good. But not everyone is capable of it. Or are you jealous that God is kind? Can a person without faith in Christ be highly moral and be able to distinguish good from evil? In this world, everything is relative, as Einstein said. God shows you your way every moment. Man assumes, but God disposes. One man said to himself that he would sort out the stacks and build new ones more spacious and harvest and be pleased, but God showed him what you were doing, what you were hoping for, look what you were doing, they would take you that very night. So you finally come to your senses and begin to prepare for a new period of your precious life. Seventh, one in the field is not a warrior. One day Jesus' disciples told him that a man was walking around and healing people by baptizing them in the name of Christ. They forbade him for not going with them. But Jesus said to them, Do not drive anyone away if he is from me. The one who is not against us is for us. Can a person not observing the teachings of Christ be for Christ? Obviously not. So now you know this deeply. In conclusion, more than 2,000 years have passed since the events described. You think something has changed in the nature of people. History teaches us that it teaches no one anything. People stumble on their own rake all the time. They will confess some kind of heresy. Some argue that the Messiah is not the Messiah. Others that he is a man. Still others that he is God. A multi-story building of the Church of Christ was built on this. Welcome to the family of God in this best of worlds, the Holy Trinity. And God looked at his creation and said that it was good. Mount your heart and open your door to the world of Christ, for only he is your way. People are not animals, but they can also live as the Son of Man. Which is the door, and the way, and the truth, and life. If a door is closed in front of you, then by law several others open at once. So get out the door. Just choose your options. Jesus calls and Landy follows him, he mostly gets along with them, but he knows the voices from his sight from A to Z, and responds and follows him. As a rule, this is a fact. Thank you and much appreciation for your attention, so let's be kind to each other and not envy ourselves. It's time for the good, forget about the bad, let's celebrate. Just smile at yourself in the mirror and everything will be fine.